Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a part two of our trip across Canada. As you can see, the very first thing we did before we really hit it big in Ontario was get an oil change and just try to make sure that all the maintenance portions of the vehicle were handled so that we didn't have any mishaps. We'd heard that Northern Ontario could be a little bit sparse in areas as far as maintenance and gas stations. So we didn't want to take any chances of there. I do want to take a quick minute just to apologize for how long it has been since I posted a video. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, so you may not know, my grandfather died about a month ago and I'm just taking it kind of hard. So right now I'm kind of just taking it one day at a time, one video at a time, and I don't want to promise that I'll get to go back to two videos a week and everything will be completely back to normal. But I am hoping that this is me going back to that direction because I do really enjoy making these videos and I have so many plans for videos. It'll be really nice to get back into it. Uh, I wish you would have been in the car with us for this truck. We were caught behind this construction truck for roughly 20 minutes. It was awful, but by the end it was just kind of hilarious just how slow we had to go on the highway because of this truck. Every time we turned, they were going the same way. It was, it was kind of humorous by the end. Canada is just so big. I'm so glad we got to not take as much time as we wanted, but we got to take quite a bit of time and really look around and we stopped a lot. We just got to really see it. I mean, not everything is so super pretty, but I mean, there's a Tim's and they'll give you caffeinated warm beverages. And isn't that kind of what we want? I like how many little flags people put out in Canada for some reason. I don't know why they're doing it, but I love it. I think it's just darling. And I know what you're thinking, but no, we're not in the prairies. This is still Northern Ontario. We have not left Northern Ontario yet. It's just almost insane to me how long it took to get out of Ontario because where for most provinces, we got to just kind of cut straight across. You really had to go pretty much all the way down and then all the way up. If you were going to follow the main highway, as far as leaving Ontario is concerned. And it was still just so pretty. I wish I remembered what town this was taken in, because I thought it was so beautiful. And we got to stay in a nice hotel, and especially by the time we got there, we were tired of driving, and it was just so awesome to get to just have the elevator bring us up to our floor and walk in and kind of just kind of more or less collapse onto the bed. And look at those cute little lamps. I want one for my house. I don't know where hotels buy their lamps and that kind of thing, but if you know, please tell me because those little lamps are adorable and I want them. Look at all the water we have, and it's so pretty. I love looking at it. I wish we could have taken a little bit more time to go and like do picnic lunches or something down by the water. It is what it is, but I loved filming in this and really getting to look at all those views again. And there were definitely points in time when it was just raining hard. At one point, we were getting messages from people wanting to know where we were because they were concerned that there was going to be like a tornado or something. I think there was a funnel cloud warning out and we were completely fine. The worst we got was rain. And I mean, not even crazy bad rain, just a lot of rain. So it was completely fine. 
And I mean, the rain contributes to the pretty water like that. Man, a lot of rain. It got bad. It's the one we're looking for, sorry. And I don't know if you do, but I really find bridges like this really interesting to look at. So I kept almost every bridge that we went through that looked like that. And this was so beautiful. They were advertising this lookout spot. And I am so glad we took the time to stop. Because look at it. Look how beautiful. I wish we were going back there. It was so beautiful. And this just reminds me so strongly of Lord of the Rings. I don't know if it's the dark trees, the fog, the looming mountain that you can sort of th see through the fog. I have no idea, but I just get really strong Lord of the Rings vibes. Oh, I kind of missed a drive looking at all of this stuff. It was so pretty. And it really wasn't bad because we got to break it up into multiple different days. And this town had a Winnie the Pooh park. How cute is that? It is adorable. And this is a gas station and grocery store like com combination, which is kind of odd. I hadn't seen it before, so I had to make sure I threw that in. Construction season is finally over, but of course we drove across Canada during construction season. But I made sure we were driving slow to see all the beautiful views, and well, I think they're worth it. They're just so pretty. I kind of wish where we lived had more views like this. As much as I like where we're living right now, it doesn't, it doesn't have this kind of effect, if you know what I mean. This is the entrance to the Terry Fox Monument. And feel free to pause this video if you do want to read the monument. I tried to kind of scroll down slowly while I was filming, but I also knew that people would pause if they wanted to read the whole thing. So I didn't take too long. The whole little memorial park was just beautiful. You can really tell that they tried to figure out exactly how everything was going to look once it was finished before they started building. And the end result is, was just so great to look at. I'm glad we stopped there. We didn't stop in too many like touristy places. But that was one that we knew we were going to stop at before we even left New Brunswick. And yes, we're still in Northern Ontario. For those keeping track. But we're getting closer. I'm pretty sure this is the last place we stopped for the night before crossing the border. And... There was kind of a whole lot of nothing. We went almost six hours without seeing a single Tim Hortons. And, well, for those of you who live in Canada, you know that that's just, that was weird. Like, felt, it felt wrong. Not like we needed the Tims, but it was just kind of like, are we still in the same country? Where is the Tim Hortons? They're supposed to be like within a stone's throw, aren't they? Yeah, it just kind of got to be a joke along the drive while we were waiting to find another one. Alrighty, we are almost to Manitoba. So on three we're gonna wave and say bye Ontario. Ready? One, two, three. Bye, bye Ontario. Ontario! Oh, but Ontario wasn't gonna say goodbye. We were still there. We were really close though, but not quite. Winnipeg wasn't a fool's errand anymore. First time in Manitoba and things look good. We have split highways and we can actually drive highway speeds now. <laughs> Winnipeg's not so far off. It's not such a far-fetched dream. 
we're in the triple digits and we're driving legally. Most of Northern Ontario, it's single lane highways and you're driving 80, which makes it really slow going when you only know how many kilometers you're driving. And of course, the exact center as Canada, we had waited to turn around like on the proper road so that we could get a better view of the exact center of Canada, but I've been there. I was there now. And this building here, I did not know what it was at first, but there were so many flags and I had to figure it out. It is where they make the money. It is in a minting building. I thought that was really cool. And at one point, Google Maps took us on just this terrible dirt road. And we had followed that for eh, maybe 40 minutes or so. Because it was convinced it was going to be faster. But that's okay, because it was an adventure. It was, it was fun. We got to really trust our cellular devices and see if they would lead us in the right direction. And in the end, they did, because we got here. So it was fine. Google Maps sometimes just has a sense of adventure. The border to Saskatchewan was kind of pathetic, but... Well. We're also not on the Trans Canada though. We're on some back highway. Yeah. Oh well. We're in Saskatchewan. It's what so far the same as Manitoba. Ah, <laughs> uh, the prairies. It really kind of mostly lived up to all the hype. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful. And I actually really did enjoy it, but it wasn't, it wasn't the hills and valleys that I was used to. But look at this water. I was so terrified that the water was gonna creep up just like an inch or two higher and just flood the whole road. Pretty, but scary. And Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Oh, I remember at the end of that drive, I was so ready to take a nap. I mean, clearly we both were. <laughs> but that's okay. Sometimes, even though you're just kind of sitting, the days where you're just driving all day are the longest days ever. Have you ever taken a trip, not necessarily across the country, but just a long trip like this? Because I know in some places, the countries just aren't that big, so same amount of time you would have driven practically across Europe. I'd want to check Google Maps to be very sure of that. But if I'm remembering correctly, how was your drive? How was your big trip? Do you wish you'd filmed parts of it too? because I'm actually really glad that I did. It is a lot of fun. I think those red things would mean the border. Border. Yep, there it is. North Saskatchewan border. Where? Just this on the green side. Yeah, that's the border. Those big red sticks were to symbolize the border. It took us a little while to figure that out. But that's okay, because we were in a traffic jam anyway. And look at that sign. Isn't it just so cool? It felt very Hollywood for some reason. I mean, I know the Hollywood sign is sticking straight up, but still, that's how it felt. That's the memories I made. <laughs> uh, Northern Alberta kind of just had a lot of nothing going on for a long time. Which I mean, it was still super pretty. And the sun was shining and I got to be this close to cows for the first time in my life. Which feels weird to admit to the internet, but yeah. It was really an interesting drive and I'm glad we did it. 
but I will see all of you in my next video and I hope you have a great day.